Now there's a perception out there that you've got to spend thousands of dollars on fishing tackle to get you out on the water. Well, that's rubbish. Today I've got 200 bucks and to carry on from all the uh, stuff we've been doing with Flathead, I'm going to get you into a Flathead combo, rod, reel, line, lures, the whole lot for less than $200. And at the end of this video, stick around because we've got a very nice surprise for you. Let's go find Rodney and get your combo sorted. Rodney! Yo! Hey! -ya. Hey, mate, what's happening? I've come to spend some money <laughs> in my own tackle store. <laughs> I got 200 big ones. Yep. What I need you to do, if you can do it, I need you to get me into a flathead setup. So just pretend I'm a brand new customer. Yep. You've never met me before, and I'm trying to get into flathead fishing. Yep. And but I only have 200 bucks, so I need a rod, I need a reel, I need line, Easy. I need lures. Done. You can do it? Done, of course we can. All right, well, as Let's I say, I'll put this in my pocket and I'll see how you go. I'll, spend <laughs> I'll be it taking later. that soon. Show me what you got, mate. Okay, uh, I think we should start with, we've got a couple of options. I pointed we'll straight at these because these are just the combos and normally the best value for money, right? 100%, um, come with a nice Sienna reel, Sienna rod, obviously from a reputable company, Shimano, they're really good outfits. Uh, that's a two to four kilo, so that's what I'd be starting with. You know, your bread and butter species, so it's not just your flathead, you can chase your brim, your whiting. Yeah, that feels alright. Um, you know, your trevs and everything in the, in the river here. Or, Two to four kilo, anywhere, that's a good really. starting point, yeah? That's a great starting point. Uh, the other one is the, sorry, the right. Abu Max X combo, which comes pre spooled with braid already. That's so a big saving. Big value for money, yes. 100%. Actually, I like that rod better. You'll probably save, you know, $30 just on the braid there. Are these any good? Definitely. You yeah, have any so. come, come back? Nope. Never had one come back. Hmm. So okay. sim similar sort of weight, that two to four kilo, or even that one to three kilo. Yep. Uh, depending on obviously where you're fishing. But the braid looks about 10 pound, I think. Yeah, it's about 10 to 12 pound. Okay. Um, you know, generally the guys that are using these and girls uh, are just starting or, you know, sort of been fishing for a little bit and want something a bit better. So that would definitely do it. Because th this would easily cross over to chuck and lures for whiting oh, or chasing brim. That'll be all your bread and butter species yeah. in an estuary system. And I tell you what, at one to three kilos, you hook a nice flatter, you're gonna know about it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I did. All definitely. right, so well, let's start off. What's that? That's 125 bucks. <clears throat> yep. All right. So I reckon we can Jeez, do... that's pretty good. All right. So but we need we the can... lures. We need lures, all let's right. Let's go. So starting, obviously, you know, flatty fishing or your bread and butter, which is your estuary stuff. Um, soft plastics, right? Soft plastics, value for money. Yeah, so man. you're going to get five or six baits yeah. per pack. Okay. As opposed to, excuse me, as opposed to one lure. Okay. Um, we still, we still will, you know, look at like little vibes and things like that. Yeah. Obviously, because these are a, you know, a, a, either a TPE or a, a PVC type uh, plastic. Yeah. Um, or if you look at your Z means, which are a, a real stretchy elastic style, so they will outlast most. Um, most of the time, like over some of the other baits. Mind you, I mean, obviously, I know a bit soft plastic. There is so many heaps to choose from. So, what makes you go to one for someone starting over, over another one? Generally, when they're starting off, I do like to point them to things like Z Man. Yeah. Uh, because they are a lot tougher and durable. Okay. And obviously, they haven't had the experience of putting jig heads in, in soft plastic locks. So, they, so with they, these you can pull the jig head out and give another go pretty, if you need to. Pretty much, yeah. Some of the other ones, um, you can't do that yeah. quite often, but yeah. with these you can do okay. it more. So which ones would you suggest? Uh, right to start bat. off, off the bat, I'd probably go like a two and a half inch grub or okay. a slim swim. Um, then you've also got... Sorry to interrupt guys, uh, just a reminder, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, let's get back to the action. You know, some of their newer stuff, like their prawns, oh, have been really good, yeah. they look great. Everything eats a prawn. Okay, well, will you start collecting what you think is going to fit into the budget? Okay, so I would go... The prawn? A prawn, I'd probably go... Keep moving down. A grub, something like a blood worm. Oh yeah, nice. Two and a half inch, yep. great curly tail on it, you can yep. target most species. I remember when I first started, catching flathead on lures years ago, was it Mr. Twister? Mr. Twister. And it had two grub tails yep. on the back of yep. it. They no, work really well. We're talking 30 odd years ago. Yeah. Still works. They still work. And what else? Uh, we get any more in the budget? Yeah. 
uh, well, you will because we actually run three for thirty dollars. Okay, well there you go. <laughs> so you're not paying, you know, just for one pack. Yeah. Um, and probably go like a slim swim. Okay. They're real popular in so that two and a half three inch size. Three different ones. Three different ones. Jig heads. We need? we need jig heads to suit. Alright, that way or this way? Uh, no, we've got to go down this way. Okay, after you, mate. Uh, yeah, they well, yeah, Someone's starting out. Look, it's like the soft plastics. Look, where do you... I mean, yeah. my goodness. So a lot of different sizes. Um, so basically, what, what you want to be looking at is, let's say for instance, this packet, it says one quarter two o. So a one quarter ounce? So one quarter ounce, and the two o refers to the size of the hook. Okay. Okay, so with these ones, I'd probably be running, if we're using a two to four kilo rod or one to three kilo rod, uh, one of the packs I'd use would be a quarter ounce mm -hmm. in like a size two. These are a light, so they're a finesse hook. Okay. When you're starting off fishing on soft plastics, I always recommend using a finesse hook. You get a better hook up rate on the fish where you're not having to strike it as hard yeah. on a heavier hook. Okay. So a quarter, two ounce. And the jig head's gonna be influenced by how much tidal flow there is there, but realistically, any heavier than that, and the tide's running, I mean, you're not gonna be getting fish anyway. Don't so. need it anyway. You've yeah. also gotta remember that you, you've gotta match it up with what the rod can throw. Yeah. So right. you don't wanna be throwing too heavy that you You won't be throwing the these guys. Most definitely not. <laughs> okay. Even though some people have tried. Yeah, right. Okay, so well, the other one I would use, I also like using the uh, BKK Harpex hooks. Oh, yeah. Um, Never tried one of them. One six in a one o. Oh. Okay. And I'd be using those on my prawns or my slim swims. Okay. So just a lighter, lighter hook. Um, it is still a light gauge hook. It's not as light as the finesse ones, yeah. but still a great sharp hook. Okay, so that's the rod. The reel, the braid, soft plastics, jig heads. We still need leader. We need leader. We do. And that'll pretty much round out 200 bucks then, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, we'll be pretty close. close. To, you're gonna need a leader. Yep. Or a leader line to your braid. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a massive selection of leaders. Do you want me to hold on to this stuff for you? Uh, if you can, <laughs> yeah, and I can do some of this stuff. Yep, righty yeah. So Again, confusing. Yep. Where do you start with okay, all this stuff? Okay, so there's fluorocarbon, there's mono leader, there's fluoro coated mono leader. Oh my god. Um, I personally like to use a lot of the suffix products. Okay. Uh, the suffix leaders. Right. And I also like to use a platypus. How um, heavy to go? No more than 12 pound. Okay, 12 pounds enough. Bread and butter species, no more than 12. Generally I'm using anywhere between eight and 12. Okay. Uh, 12 is that sort of safe point. Yeah. Where if they do hook anything bit bigger, yeah. you know, they're not gonna be too worried. Okay. Um, but 12 pound in the suffix, Value for money, you can also look at the Dangan, which is also a fluoro. Okay. Now, what you get um, in some of these spools is 50 to 100 metres. Yeah, okay. Some of them might even be 30. Right. Now, if you are on a budget and you're just starting off, you can go this stuff. So these ones only come in a 30 metre spool. Okay. Um, but it's a little bit cheaper just Yeah, a little bit started. cheaper, that's correct. Near about that $12 mark, 10 okay. to $12. And then, I mean, you can go anywhere up to, you know, 30, 30 odd dollars for, for litre. Yeah, that's But right. you're just starting off. The flatties, mate, that is more than enough. 12 pound, 10 pound, yep. plenty. Okay. Um, we also need a hard body. So, a really easy lure to use. <laughs> Why did I know? I knew you would take And my favourite lure oh, of all God, time. You're obsessed. Now, Mate, mate we're know. up to 30 species on this lure. I know, you can't it's say crazy. no. So it's the loco prawn. Yes, everyone the always. Loco get, everyone prawn. thinks I'm loco because I keep on saying loco prawn. But this is Rodney's very own vibe that he's brought in from overseas. Love this lure. And I must admit, it catches just about everything, including loads of flathead. It does, a yeah. lot of flathead. So it's really easy to use, especially for beginners. Yeah. So if they're in the river, throwing around, they can get whiting, brim, flathead, it catches squid. Um, Jewfish, you name it, in the river it's going to catch it. Yeah, and you'll see that on one of the videos we did chasing flathead. Rodney just uses loco prawns. Yep. One after another. Correct. Yeah. Um, now, the next thing I will ask you. Yes. Since you're just starting. Yes. Do you know how to put a jig head in soft plastic? Well, I have no idea how to do it, sir. Okay. Can you please show me? <laughs> That's the next thing we've got to do. We're right. going to do that. Let's go back down the front. All right. And I'll show you how this to do that. This is good info. Rigging show me how to do it, Rod. <laughs> rigging a soft plastic. So, like you said, you've come in. You're just starting um, flathead, fishing. flathead fishing, basically with uh, soft plastics. Okay. And Start on a grub. You've never really done it before. I'll grab out the jig here. So I always try to show people 
how to correctly put a jig head into a soft plastic. It really is super important that they sit straight. If they're not sitting straight, you're just not going to catch fish. No, so. definitely not. Okay, so rule of thumb. Now, this has always been an argument in the industry. Which way does it go? Tail down, tail up. Um, look, just try to keep the tail down. Don't confuse yourself. I'm a tail up kind of guy, uh, but that's all right. <laughs> Whatever you reckon. Nose of the soft plastic yep. is going to butt up with that jig head there. Yep. So just try to measure it. And we now know that the soft plastic is going to come out on that last rib. Right, the very last that. one. Yeah. Now if, if it's if it's a soft plastic like oh, slim swim. a slim swim, right, these have an indicator because they've got ribs in them. Mm. And we know it's going to come out on that last rib. Mm -hmm. If it's something like that that doesn't have an indicator, what I always say to people is just make a little nick in there. Yeah. Now this is, like I said, it's elastic. Yeah. So they're very durable. Measure it up. We know it's going to end up there on that last rib. Make a little nick in there. And then tail towards you, head away from you. And you want to feed it right down the middle of that nose of the soft plastic. You're going to go as straight as possible. Put it on like you would a worm. Exactly like feeding a worm. We're going to get to that little indicator or the rib that we found mm -hmm. where the hook's going to come out and just push it through. And because these are quite durable and stretchy, instead of trying to push it on all the time and get it caught in your fingers, and just grab the hook, grab the end of the soft plastic and pull up on it. Mm -hmm. Now once it comes over that little ribbed area on the jig head, it'll act like a vacuum mm -hmm. and it'll suck down on there because there is a gap between the jig head and that section. So tail down as straight as possible. That thing will curl in the water and it will attract a lot of fish. That is an absolute killer on Big Flathead and you'll be able to see there that that, regardless if you have the tail up or down, it's dead set straight to the actual hook. So it's going to swim perfectly through the water and that's going to get you flathead. You can watch the other videos to see how you actually use them, but that is everything that I need to go and catch flathead, right? Most definitely. 200 yeah. bucks. <clears throat> 200 bucks. You also get a hard body in there. Get a vibe, you get a loco <laughs> prawn. And look, wow. with, 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 with those, yep. um, they're quite easy to use. Do refer to our YouTube video on how to use them and Mark and I getting out and throwing them around for a lot of flathead that day. Um, very, very easy to use and catch a lot of fish. So right. I'll take your money. Yeah, you can have the money. So what we're now going to do, folks, is we're going to put a post on the Attic Tackle Facebook page or Insta, whatever, and the first kid to come in this afternoon and say, flathead combo. I'm going to give it away for free. What do you mean I'm giving it away? <laughs> I gave you the money, you idiot. I'm giving it away for free. So there's a couple of hundred dollars worth here. First kid to come on via the post we put up. We're going to give it away. So let's see who comes in. I'll go do it with Chris right now. Thanks, Rodney. No worries. I'll see who comes in. Yeah, look after some kid. Get him out there chasing flatties. If I could call my kid. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> so come into the shop. Going up live now. Beautiful. Flatty combo. Here we go. Good on you, buddy. You've won. Shake hands. Do you love fishing? Yeah. You go all the time. Yeah.